Hi, good afternoon. I am your drummer teacher for today and I am teacher here. So for today, we are going to discuss conditionals. Okay, when we say conditionals from the word itself, that means it has condition so that the main clause is going to happen. We have four types of conditional. We have type 0, type 1, type 2, type 3. Okay, let's first discuss type 0. Okay, it is type 0, right? So we have first, let's discuss, we have the two parts. We have the if part, we have the main clause. So as I said, it's type 0. That means it doesn't have a condition so that the main clause is going to happen. When we say type 0, it is scientifically proven or it is just a fact. Scientifically proven. Okay, I'll give you an example. So what is going to happen if you don't drink water? Isn't it you're going to die? Okay. So, for if part in type 0, we're going to use the present form. And also in the main clause, we're going to use present form. So, as my example, or in my example, if you don't drink water, what would happen? Or what will happen? You, that. So it is scientifically proven, or it is fact, that if you don't drink water, you die. Okay, now let's proceed with type 1. With type 1, it is more possible. Why is it more possible? Because it is going to happen in the future. So in if part, you're going to use the present form of a verb. And in main clause, you can use will can or may. Why? Because these are going to happen in the future. I'll give you an example. Okay. If I have money, what are you going to do? If you have money, I will buy a car. Okay. It is more possible. Why? Because it's going to happen in the future. Next, let's proceed with type 2. With type 2, it is less possible. If it is less possible, that means you're going to imagine. And this one, if type 1 is future, type 2 is present. That is why you're just going to imagine it. In type 2, if in type 1 we use present for the if part, in type 2 you're going to use a past form of a verb. And you can use in the main clause, you can use what, could, or might. I'll give you an example. If I were, or if I were or was a boy, what? I would go, or I would play basketball. So I just imagine that I am a boy. Or here, look at my example. I use was or where. In conditional type 2, it doesn't matter. If you use fever, it doesn't matter what is your subject. You can use was or where. Now let's proceed with type 3. With type 3, it is impossible to happen. Why is it impossible to happen? Because it's, it is going to happen in the past. Because you cannot go back in the past, that's why it's, it is going to happen, or it is impossible. In type 1, you use present. In type 2, you use past. In type 3, you use past perfect. And in main clause, you can use would, could, or could, or might, have, plus, pp. Okay, I'll give you an example. If I had had money, what are you going to do? I would buy or I would have bought bought a car. 
Okay, so this is impossible to happen because it's, it, it, you are just imagining it that it's going to happen in the past. Okay, that's all for conditionals. Type 0, type 1, type 2, and type 3. If you have questions, you can ask me.